Hello, hello, hello. Um, okay. I hope you all found me okay. Um, and we're streaming live now. And I know you're not going to probably get a notification um, that I'm going live. So I am going to also send a little notification in my group and and post okay Okay, so if you're, we're trying something new. So I have um, some of my team members are also running a Christmas in July in their groups as well. And, um, but they all joined Saint after the eyeshadow colors came out, which I, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Okay, so. I left my eyeshadow colors in the other room. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm going to run and go get them real quick. Hold on. Okay, so you know this is like real life and you don't have to be a professional to do this. Oh my God. So um, yeah, I'll have to edit all that out. So anyway, they don't have the new eyeshadow colors. So I am streaming this on YouTube live so that they could just share the link to their group and their ladies could join as well. So the rules still work the same. Go ahead and you can say something in the comments, um, just like I just posted. And um, so you can comment there. And I'll also post the complete video on my group. Um, the ladies in Heidi and Vicki and Carla's groups will also probably post the link. So you can always watch it on replay also if you're missing it. So. We know we can't always hit everybody. So what we're going to do tonight, um, so I'm going to do the basic four steps to our hack system. Hack is highlight and contour. So I'm going to kind of walk you through those steps. This is especially for like our new ladies who are um, haven't even tried the makeup yet. So you'll get an idea of how to apply it. And also for, you know, those that have been using it for a while, if you have questions, if you're running into problems, application issues, this is a great time to drop a question in the comments. And hopefully I can go over some of those and help you troubleshoot. So um, I'm just going to turn off my light here. Okay. So, um, so while I'm doing that, I'm also going to just kind of recap and talk about all the exciting things that are going on this month because there's just so much and I want to make sure that everyone's aware of what we're doing. So um, right now, I think there's only a handful of people. So make sure you are dropping a comment and let me know that you're here live. Okay, so we're going to jump into it. So when you get your starter kit is what we kind of call it. Um, we're going to start you off, whoever color matches you, the artist that you're with, we're going to start you off with four main colors, um, which is really what makes up the whole foundation. So when we're used to calling our makeup foundation, it was usually comes in a bottle or a tube and you apply it all over your face. And that was the foundation. And then you might have added some blush or something like that. 
Well, with Saint, we call our entire four-step system foundation, 3D foundation, because by placing the colors strategically on our face, um, we actually kind of sculpt our face and create this 3D effect without layering all the products on top of each other. So as I go through the steps, you'll notice that I am not layering a bunch of makeup. I'm actually just kind of doing a almost a paint by number and strategic it, strategically placing it and then blending. Blending is the key to this makeup. Um, and because it's cream makeup, it blends beautifully. So, so what you're gonna get in those four colors is you're gonna get a main highlight color, what we call our main color. And that is gonna be a color that kind of matches your skin tone closely. Um, for summertime, I wear sunscreen on my face. So my face is lighter than my neck. So I'm actually trying to kind of get closer to my, my neck and my chest color um, so that everything blends in well. So I've actually shaded up a couple of shades for uh, for my summer color. So for me tonight, I'm going to use the color mango for my mane. And mango is just um, a great color to have for anyone to have. I'm using it as my foundation or as my main color, but a lot of people use it for color correcting too. So I'm going to use that. And then we're going to give you a brightening highlight color recommendation. And in the brightening highlight, it's going to be a few shades lighter than the mango, as you can see. So I'm gonna be using white peach tonight. So we want a little bit of that contrast and we wanna be able to brighten up kind of the center part of our face. So that's kind of those two colors. And then you're gonna get a contour color and that's kind of scary sometimes when you look at it, but I also shaded up on my contour. Um, I was using olive now um, for the summer I'm using um, I've been playing around with both Indigo and Astoria. So I, I wore Indigo the other day. So tonight I'm gonna try Astoria and kind of see which one I like best. Um, so I'm gonna go a little bit darker on that. And then you're gonna get a lip and cheek. And for tonight, I'm gonna be using Dahlia, which is this really, really pretty pink and a nice soft little pink over the top of it called Petal. So we have a bunch of lip and cheek colors. I have them all, they're all gorgeous. Um, really, you can't go wrong, it just depends on your preference. So usually we'll give you a recommendation for a lip and cheek color, but we'll also say, you know what, just pick whatever you like. Like go look on the website and pick whichever one you, you want um, because they're really universal. So, so those are the four steps. And then there's kind of an extra step that is optional and that's using an illuminator. So I am gonna use that step tonight as well. And then we're gonna do an eyeshadow look real quick. So I don't wanna keep you all night. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'm not doing any color correcting. Um, we really kind of recommend that you try just the basic steps before we get into a lot of color correcting um, because this foundation provides such great coverage that you'll actually probably get really good coverage and won't need to correct dark circles or age spots or things like that. But if you find out that you do, like I have these really dark age spots, I'm not going to correct those tonight. I'm just going to show you what happens when um, I just use the basic products. Um, but, you know, we can always add more products if you want to. But the idea around Saint is to try to use as little makeup as possible. Like we don't want to cake our makeup on. We want to use as little as possible. So usually we will recommend a brush and a great starter brush is the 3D hack brush. So it has this really short, dense end and kind of a pointy pointier tapered end that's also pretty dense. Um, this is a great starter brush because it kind of gives medium coverage, whereas some of our other brushes, um, another brush that's often recommended as a starter brush is the buff brush. This gives really full coverage, and I think for me, it's just too much. So I hardly ever use that brush. Um, but the 3D brush is great, and then for like really light coverage, um, 
You could use the detail brush or the blend brush is another great one to pick up. So I'm going to use the 3D brush tonight mostly. Um, I may use a little bit of the blend brush. I kind of like to use it under my eyes when I apply my brightener. Um, but you can really do the whole look with just one brush. So I'm going to try to try to stick to that as much as possible. So we're going to start off with some contour. And so that's going to be this dark brown color. And I honestly find it easier to apply my contour with just my fingers. Um, the detail brush works really well, but I feel like sometimes it gets the line a little bit too um, thick. And so by doing my fingers, I feel like I can control because I can feel where I'm putting it. So I want to put it kind of right up here along my cheekbone. And then I just kind of curve it up just a little bit at the end because I have kind of a long, narrow face. So you can see here that I've already kind of chiseled out that cheekbone compared to this side of my face. So, and we're gonna blend that in. And I'm gonna try to kind of lift my face up a little bit so you can see it's kind of lifted as opposed to over here. So then we're gonna go on this side and do the same thing. And like I said, I just find it easier to just use my finger for the contour color, um, but play around. Um, you will watch a lot of artists do this application and every one of us end up with a system or a method that we like better than others. But the key is, is that where you're placing the product and how you do it is really kind of up to you. So that's the first place we put contour. And then the next place we're gonna put it is just kind of here along the forehead. So I've got kind of a big forehead. I have like a lot of acreage up here. So I like to kind of go down about an inch or so. If you don't have a high forehead, so if you put two fingers here right above your eyebrow and it meets your hairline, um, then you probably don't really even need to contour your forehead. Um, but if you have a high forehead, do that and you just kind of put a line along here and we're going to blend that up into the hairline and then the next place i'm going to put the contour is here along my jawline and i do it just a little bit above not all the way under because then nobody sees that you put a shadow there and because i have a little bit of a jowl there i go right over the top of that and it just kind of creates a shadow so that it doesn't look as jowly as it does over here. See how that just carved that out? So contouring is all about creating the shadows so that your face has dimension. You want to kind of recede those areas that you don't want to show up as much. And then the, the other colors will brighten up and carve out the areas that you want highlighted. So, so that's that. I'm going to do my nose last. So there's a nose contouring trick as well. So again, if anybody's in here, please drop a comment so I know you're here. Because um, I've never done this before on YouTube um, live. So we'll see. Um, they say... That as long as I don't go over 12 hours, then the video will be saved. So I think we're pretty safe there. We're not going to go over 12 hours. So you can kind of see it's kind of like a three on my face. So I'm just going to kind of, um, that's kind of been warming up on my face a little bit. So now I'm going to blend and I'm going to take that 3D brush. I'm going to take that bigger end and I'm going to start here along the cheekbone. And I'm just kind of doing a tapping and gliding motion that just kind of pushes and blends that color up under the cheekbone. I'm not going down because I want the color to stay right where I placed it, but to be blended so it doesn't look like a straight line. Okay, so while I'm doing this blending, um, let's recap all the great things that are going on. So remember, I'm doing an eyeshadow giveaway each week 
but I'm drawing for all of them at the end of the week. So I kind of changed that because I thought, well, if I draw the first week and somebody wins and they know they can only win once, then they're going to feel like, you know, I don't really need to interact anymore. And I want you all to play the games. <laughs> so, uh, and you get more chances then, right? If you don't participate, you don't get chances. So what I want you to do is keep engaging in all those posts that say engagement. So there'll be an engagement one, an engagement two, and an engagement three and four posts. So engage in those. I will tally up the points at the end of each week, like on a probably on Sunday, so that you know that you've gotten the points for that week. And I posted that last time to just show you. Um, so you get a point every time you comment on those engagement posts. And I kind of picked engagement where you can keep commenting over and over and over again, like it's not just one right answer. So keep engaging in that. And then um, so you get a point for every time you engage with the engagement post and you get a point every time you watch the, the live video, which is tonight. You can either watch it live or you can watch it on replay. Um, if this YouTube thing isn't going to work out and people weren't able to join, then I may go back to doing it on Facebook, but we're just trying it tonight. But as long as you tell me you watched it even later after the fact, you're going to still get credit for tonight's video. So promise. So that's one point for watching the video and as many points as you comment for the engagement. And that's all going to be for the eyeshadow giveaways. Okay. So now we're going to go to the next step with the hack, and then I'll go back to the prizes. So I'm going to use that color mango again. And again, it's going to kind of show up. I usually use sandy, which is really pretty close to my natural skin color. But again, I'm trying to kind of blend in and match my neck. Um, I've actually even gone as high as goddess, um, but I'm going to stick to mango tonight. So I'm going to take that small end of the 3D brush and here's where you want to use just a little bit. So I just do a couple of little taps. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of dot it on my face. And I kind of call it where I grow a beard. So I'm just kind of dotting it in there. And not blending right now. And you want to use as little as possible. Um, because again, we don't want to layer on. You'll notice I kind of went around where I contoured because I don't want to cover up that contour. So I'm going to do that up here on my forehead too. I'm just going to kind of go right up here under the, the contour line. And then I am going to put a little bit here on my temples, just whatever's left over on the brush. So not a lot, but it just kind of helps marry everything together to have a little color of something on the temples um, besides the darkness. Okay, so right here, kind of along in here and around the mouth, along there. I just brushed a little bit on my nose and yeah, down the temple a little bit, okay. So then we're gonna blend that and we're gonna use that same kind of stippling or dabbing motion. So it's kind of a, just a dab and a glide. And I'm just gonna blend that in. Okay, while well, I'm blending, the grand prize giveaway is going to be that Summer Glow Kit. If you are a returning customer, you really need to grab that because it'll be awesome. Um, and great alternative for you to use instead of your full hack. Um, but if you want the hat colors too, that's fine. If you are a brand new customer, I will give you your first four colors for free if you win the grand prize. So you'll get the colors that I match you with and, um, and, a, and a little quad palette. So the summer glow kit is this one. Um, so you'll either get this or your personalized, customized colors in a little quad. So how do we win the grand prize? You get points for every person that you invite to the group 
and they join the group and they stick around till the end of the month, at least hopefully forever, but the end of the month. Um, and when I do the drawing, I guess then they're free to do whatever they want. But if they're not in the group, when I draw on the end of the month, then you don't get a point for them. So they have to join the group, stay in the group till the end of the month. That's one point for the person that invited them and one person for the one point for the person that joined. And then if you are a new customer and you submit a color match form, um, or if you've even been lingering for a while and you just submit a color match form for the first time, then you get a point for the grand prize for submitting a color match form. There's no purchase necessary, just submit the form. Um, easy, that's a point. Um, if you recommended that person to this group, then you also get a point. Um, even if you added them a long time ago. So maybe you added them two or three months ago, but they've never color matched before. As long as it's a brand new customer and a brand new match, you'll get a point for that. So, okay, you can see now how I've blended all that in. And you can see this mango color is just a little bit warmer. And I'll probably warm up, if I was gonna go out, I would probably warm this up with the Bella bronzer too. But I'm just gonna stick with this. Okay, now I'm gonna do the brightening highlight and I am gonna use this um, blend brush for that. Um, and I'm using this white peach color right here. And the reason I'm using this is because it just applies a little bit lighter coat and a little bit more detail. So you just kind of go down the center of your nose and I kind of go up again where that other highlight color was, mango, and stop there. Okay. Oops. And then put a little bit here. Okay. Now we're going to do under the eyes. And I go under, kind of right along where I have these lines that are kind of baggy. So if you don't have those lines and you don't have bags, you can go right up underneath your eye. Um, but since I do, I'm not going to go right up under, but I will blend up in there. And then I just kind of, again, go up into that temple area. Okay, so, so those are the giveaways in this group. I shadow every week and then the grand prize for one person. All right, we're going to blend now. And I'm actually going to take this big end of my blend brush and just blend. Again, this just kind of gives a nice feathery finish to that brightening highlight and really spreads it out nicely and evenly, especially under the eyes. And I'm using very little pressure, but you can see I am getting up under the eye. And I'm just gonna kind of go over the top as well. By adding a little bit to my lid, it kind of serves as a primer for the eyeshadows that I'm gonna be doing tonight. And again, you can use 3D brush for this. I would just use that small end to do that. Okay, so. I don't know if y'all noticed, I did a little something different with my hair. Um, yeah, I was freaked out. It's much redder mauve or purpley color than I expected. I was really kind of thought it was going to be pink. Um, and I wasn't planning on doing my whole head, but I kind of got blotchy and I thought, well, let's just do the whole head because I didn't want spots. So that's what I did. But it's growing on me. 
it's temporary, so it's a conditioner. Um, it's called Kristen S. Coloring Conditioner. Um, and I got it at Target. So it's supposed to wash out. I've washed it three times now, and it's not fading very fast. So we'll see what happens, but oh well. Okay. So that's, that's that. You see how this just kind of brightened up under here? Um, and I'm just taking this, blending it out a little bit. The key here is to really blend and really kind of get everything working in together so you don't look like you have harsh lines. Okay. I might add a little bit more contour later. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm loving this Astoria, but you still get the idea of where to apply it, right? Okay. All righty. Lip and cheek. I'm going to use this really pretty Dahlia color. And again, I like to just use my finger. So I'm just going to tap it in there a few times, get a little bit on my finger. These are highly pigmented. So starting off with just a little bit, I kind of put it here on the apple of my cheek. Okay. And their lips too. So, all right. I'm gonna take the bigger end of that 3D brush and just blend that in. And again, I just use that stippling motion and kind of glide it up along my cheekbone. Just doing it very lightly. You can go as heavy as you want but I'm just doing a little hint of color right in there. Okay, and then one of the things I've been loving doing, especially this petal color, is just kind of putting it over the top. So I'm just gonna kind of put it, and it just adds this really nice little summery sheen um, to really almost any color that I've put over the top of it. It looks really pretty. So that's been kind of my summary look. Okay. So that was, that was the four steps. So we put the contour on, the main highlight, the brightening highlight, and then the lip and cheek. And that's it. Um, so easy to do. Put a little bit of that doll yawn. And a little bit of petal over the top, and it's so pretty. Okay, so that's it on that. Um, for Illuminator, I'm going to use um, Angel tonight. So that's, again, this kind of soft pink. And so this is kind of an extra step. You just put some on your finger, and you're just going to put it kind of right here along kind of the outer socket of your eye, and you just kind of dab it in. You don't really see it as much as you notice the effect it has. So it will add that glow to your face, especially like in photos and pictures. You really wanna add that illuminator because it will really add in the glow, what we call the saint glow. And it looks really pretty. I wanna kind of pop it on my lips too. Okay, and you notice I ran it down my nose a little bit. All right, so now we're going to do kind of a little extra step too, and I'm going to contour my nose. So to contour my nose, um, I'm going to probably not take that Astoria color because I think it's going to be too dark, but I, I take the um, smudge brush. 
and I'm just going to use my regular olive and you're just going to go down the nose right like so I like the smudge brush it's really technically an eyeshadow brush but it works great for contouring the nose so what we're trying to do is make my nose look nice and skinny um, and not quite as wide or as bulbous there. So I'm putting a little color right there as well. And then I just take that other end and I just tap and blend in that line. So that I'm not removing the color but I am blending it in. See, look how nice and thin my nose looks now. Ugh, I love it. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to do the eyeshadows now. And we're going to use the four colors from the new collection. So what we're going to use tonight is, um, so we're going to use, Figgy Pudding, or um, this one's 34th Street. So I'm going to use 34th Street, and I'm just going to kind of show you what that looks like on. Can you see that? Isn't that pretty? I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it? Yeah, maybe. Okay, so we're going to use that one. We're going to use Figgy Pudding, and I'll put the numbers down. I think 34th Street is number 11. Figgy Pudding is number 12. And, oh, I don't know how to do this. I see girls do this all the time. See this one right there? Kind of reminds me a little bit of Bubba, which is a really pretty color. And then we're going to do Noel, which is this one. And slide it on there. Let's see? Okay. And the last one is a shimmer called, um, I think, Sugar Plum. Okay, so, yeah. All right, you get the idea. Let's get to it. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to start off with 34th Street. And I'm going to take the fluffy end of my eyeshadow brush and just tap it in there. And I'm going to put 34th Street kind of all over my lid. And up a little bit into the crease. And a little bit of above the crease. Isn't that such a pretty color? I... I'm seriously in love with this 34th Street. So we have another pink matte color in our, our regular collection that was called Mama. Um, and it's really pretty, but I'm loving 34th Street as a light pink. It's so pretty. Um, okay. Okay, so I just put it all over my lid and then kind of blend it out some more. Okay, then we're going to go in with um, Figgy Pudding. And I'm going to do this one. It's kind of what we call a transition color. So I'm going to put this in the crease. Again, I'm using the fluffy end of my brush. And I'm going to put it in the crease and kind of up above the crease. So what it's going to do is it's just going to soften out and warm up that um, mama color. I don't have any comments, so I am just so afraid that you guys were not able to watch this video, which makes me really sad. But I'll post it in the group. Okay, 
figgy pudding. It's a really warm cocoa kind of brown. Um, like I said, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Bubba, if you have Bubba. It's not quite as warm as Bubba, but it's, it's similar. Okay, so um, I just run a little bit here under my eye. So when picking out eye colors, you just always want to kind of um, do a light shade and then a medium shade and then a darker shade and then a shimmer. So my darker shade tonight is Noel. For that, I'm going to use the small end of this eyeshadow brush and just tap in the end. And I'm going to put it here, just kind of in the outer corner of my eye. And I'm just kind of swirling it around there in that outer corner and kind of creating a V shape. And I'm also going to run it here under my eyes. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm loving Noel. So pretty. And we really just don't have a color like it. Um, it's so unique. And just this really pretty red mauve. Matches my eyes, my hair. It actually kind of does match my hair. I didn't even think about that. Okay. Okay, there's some other stuff going on too, but I'm having a hard time doing my eyes and explaining all the things that are going on. So I'll probably explain all the things going on here in a little bit. Okay, so now I'm just going to kind of blend. Um, so some other things going on. So next Tuesday is the Saint customer appreciation party. And so you're going to want to make sure to go over to Instagram and follow the account called Saints and Angels. And that's where they're going to do some live tutorials. They're going to play games all day and they're going to have, um, some giveaways. So you're going to want to head over there. If you have an Instagram account, make sure you're following Saints and Angels on Ju July 10th. Um, and I'm just taking a regular color called Cupcake, and I'm going to put that up here under my brow bone just to lighten that up a little bit. Um so on June, July 20th is the customer appreciation day. And that's where you can get the gift with purchase. And so I asked you to kind of wait to place your orders until then. And then I've been thinking and I thought, well, some of you also probably want to wait and see if you win any eyeshadows or you win any the summer glow kit or the um, basic hack. And so I don't blame you for that. Like, I want you to go ahead and wait and see if you win. But I also want you to get those gifts with purchase. So what I would suggest are some things to buy that that aren't things that I'm giving away. So maybe wait to buy any of the giveaway stuff to see if you win. But like you could buy some of the eyeshadows. You could buy like the moon collection or the sun collection or the earth collection. That would be four eyeshadows. Um and then if you win one of my free ones at the end of the month, we would just get you a color that wasn't in one of those collections. So that's easy fix. If you want to go ahead and buy the entire stargazing collection, all 12 colors on June, July 20th, that's okay too. Go ahead and buy it just because I don't know how long these colors are going to last. So go ahead and buy all of the colors if you want them, because if you win an eyeshadow, I can always give you one of our existing colors that you don't have yet. So it would still be an eyeshadow, maybe not one of the new ones if you want to make sure you grab a new one. So might be something to think about. Um, and then you can do other things as well that don't require color matches. So you could get our setting spray. You could get the skincare system. So the skincare system alone is $140. 
So if you got that and added 10 more dollars, so a lip and cheek or something, um, that would qualify you for both gifts with purchase, which the gifts with purchase are the brush cleaning tile, which is amazing, and the um, magic brush cleanser that I'm going to be demonstrating next week. So um, both of those are amazing gifts and spend $150 and you get it. So grab you some extra brushes that you don't have. So when I give away the summer glow kit or your basic hack kit, I'm not giving away a brush. So grab yourself a 3D brush. Grab the blush and bronzer brush if you don't have it yet, because this one is key to applying the, the bronzer and glow mixture when I swirl that around and mix it together. This fluffy end is so, so good at that. So grab a blush and bronzer, bronzer brush. Um, grab, grab an eyeshadow brush, even though you may get that with your collection. Or the line brush or the multitasker brush. Like I have several of these that I use for different things. Um, the blend brush is amazing. So think about all the things that you might want to add to your um, collection and that you want to buy on July 30, July 20th. So $75 gets you the tile, $100 gets you the brush cleaner, and $150 gets you both. So make sure you're really um, filling up your cart. And if you win one of the drawings at the end of the month, um, I'll make it right with you. Like I am more than happy to exchange products with you if you already ordered something. Um, we'll still, as long as it's the same value, we'll work it out. So get your orders placed and, um, but wait till July 20th and then be ready to hit order. Okay. We're going to add in this, um, shimmer color now called, uh, it's called sugar plum, but it'll have a new name. So what I like to do to really kind of make those shimmery colors stand out more is I like to take, you know, whatever my brightening color is. So I usually use linen. Today I used white peach, but I'm going to go ahead and stick to linen. And I'm going to take the flat end of that multitasker brush and just tap it into that linen. And I'm going to apply that on my lid, just kind of here in that inner third where I want to add that shimmery color because that will make it more vibrant. And it will also stick better um, over those powders. It won't flake as much. Okay, so I hope what I made said what made sense. I can drop a list of things, um, kind of of what you might think about buying on the um, 20th to get to 75 or to get to 100 or to get to 150. Um, but I really recommend grabbing some brushes, um, some new compacts. Um, there's a really pretty new one coming out that will come with those eye collections. Grab some of the eye, new eyeshadows, get some of those collections. And like I said, we'll make it right somehow. Okay, then I'm gonna go into my shimmery color, Sugar Plum with that flat end again. And I'm just gonna get some on my brush. And then I'm gonna tap it in where I put that linen color. I just love, 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 love this color. It is so pretty. I get here in the inner corner to brighten that up. Mm -mm -mm. So, so pretty. Um, where's my brush? Brush, 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 brush. Here it is. I'm going to take that fluffy end again. And what I'm doing is I'm just adding a little bit more of this 34th Street right in here 
just to kind of make it a little more pink right in there. Soften it up a little bit. Again, you got to just kind of play with the looks that you're looking for. Um, don't be afraid to layer colors um, by just adding different colors over the top of others. You change the whole look. Okay, I'm just going to kind of blend. Blending over that line of the shimmer is just so again, it doesn't look like such a harsh line. And instead, it's really just a soft, soft look. Okay. All right. So head over to Instagram on July 20th. And I'll do another tutorial on Monday, the day before. And we'll go over all this again. But start thinking about your cart. Um and what you want to add to it to get those gifts with purchase. Keep engaging with the um, engagement posts. You guys have come up with some great either or questions. So I've had so much fun reading them. So make sure you, you keep engaging and um, watching the videos, inviting people to the group, getting them to submit a color match form. And um, yeah, like, oh, 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 I forgot one more thing. The artist program. So that started today, the artist program incentive. Um, if you join Saint, join my team, please join my team. We have so much fun. But if you join Saint today through the end of the month, you're going to get a $65 voucher. Um, Saint never does that. Um, like twice a year is all they ever do. So they do it like in January and then they did it this month as a kind of as a surprise. None of us was expecting it. So this is a great time to sign up. Um, if you want more details about what it takes to sign up to be an artist, let me know. It's super easy. You don't have to have any experience. I am not a makeup artist, um, but I'm having fun learning how to be one. So um it's the great thing. It's the best thing I've done. It gave me a lot of entertainment and things to do during the pandemic when we were all quarantined. And now, like, I feel like for the first time, I know how to apply makeup and I feel beautiful. And um, anyway, I'll talk more about the artist program um, at another time as well. But um, really, today is the day that could change your life if you just sign up. So let me know. Okay. Um, I'm going to see about stopping this live video now and getting it loaded to the Facebook page. So if you aren't following, following me on Facebook, um, let me see here if I'll drop that also kind of in the, um, comments here. I think they'll still, It'll stay there if you look at the comments. That's my Facebook group. It's called um, Jody's Beauty Hacks. So come on over and join me on Facebook if you're not already there. So, um, and Heidi, Carla, and Vicki, um, if one of them is your artist, reach out to them and um, let them know that you watched this video. So, okay. That's it, folks. Um, I'm going to end the live stream and we'll talk to you later. Bye.